Namne, Namaste Sarasati Devi, Puravani Pracharine, Nirvishesha Shunyavadi, Pascha Chandesha Tarine. Good evening, Srimad Bhagavatam, Chapter 10, Chapter 26, Text Number 6. Text number six? Yes. Yes. Today we will study the chapter of the Shri Pyan, the Shri Pyan, the Shri Pyan, Jigishi So Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 26, Text Number 6. Eka Eka Hayana Hayana Asino Asino Riyamano Riyamano Vihayasha Vihayasa Daitena Daitena Yas Yas Trinavatam Trinavatam Ahan Ahan Kanta Grahaturam Grahaturam Ekahayana Asino Ekahayana Asino Rimano Vihayasa Viha Riman Rimanano Vihayasa Riyamano Vihayasa Daichina Yastrina Vartam Ahankantagrahaturam Ekahayana Asino Riyamano Vihayasa Ahankantagrahaturam Ekahayana Asino Ekahayana Asino Riyamano Vihayasa Vartam 
by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada. The coward men who loved Krishna as an ordinary child were astonished by all these activities. A newborn infant cannot ordinary, ordinarily kill a powerful witch. And one would hardly think that a one-year-old baby could kill a demon who has kidnapped him and carried him up into the sky. But Krishna did all of these wonderful things and the cowherd men were enhancing their love for him by remembering and discussing his activities. Shanshuji Oma Gyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chatsura Militanjena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Shri Chaitanya Manobhistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupakadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Bandeham Shri Guru Shri Yata Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavamsya Shri Rupam Sakrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakanitam Scha He Krishna Karana Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Radhe Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Vata Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare The tenth canto Srimad Bhagavatam is the face of Lord Krishna. Are we all qualified to look on the face of Krishna? Maybe we should go back to the first canto. <laughs> yeah, when we look on the Lord, we should look first at His lotus feet. And then only after contemplating the other limbs of the body, we gradually rise up to look on the face of the Lord. So we are meant to study, first of all, the other nine cantos before we come to the tenth canto. The tenth canto 
is describing confidential pastimes of the Lord. And if we do not properly understand the position of Lord Krishna, then we will not be able to understand his pastimes. People often hear about the Rasa Lila and then they consider that Krishna is very lusty. When they hear Krishna has so many wives in Dwarka, and they think, yeah, I see, he's a very lusty man. They do not understand the position of Lord Krishna. Just like the Mayavadis also, they consider the pastimes of Krishna to be mundane, to be material. And they consider the body of Krishna to be material. And so they can never understand the pastimes of Krishna. They may hear Srimad Bhagavatam, they may read the books, but they don't understand them. Because they still, they're maintaining their own thinking and trying to understand Krishna. Krishna has to be understood by service. And Bhagavad Gita Krishna describes it, only by devotion can be understood. And that devotion means service. If we actually have devotion for Krishna, then we have to serve Krishna. That service begins, of course, with the ears. We have to hear. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna does Kaviraj. Describes Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Shadya Kabunai Shravanadi Shuddha Chiti Kore Udai. Love for Krishna is in the heart of everyone eternally. But it has to be awakened by hearing. Just like we have to be often woke up. And usually we wake up, the alarm clock goes off, or your handphone rings or something. Or you hear some sign, noise, some disturbance which wakes you up. So in the same way, transcendental sound wakes up our spiritual consciousness. Transcendental sound, Prabhupada describes the action of transcendental sound to be just like injecting a patient with, with you, know, you give some injection, some inoculation into the arm. You inject some medicine, powerful medicine into the arm, some drug, and it goes right through the whole body. And in the same way, transcendental sound is injected into the ear. But it can affect, it can have its effect on the whole body, that our whole body can become spiritualized. Not just the gross body, but the subtle body. Right? We have to our mind and 
intelligence and ego have to be all purified by hearing about Krishna. So we see Lord Chaitanya talking to Ramananda Rai and Lord Chaitanya was asking Ramananda Rai, what is the most important verse from the scriptures? What is the highest thing from the scriptures? So then Ramananda Rai began to give different suggestions. He began first of all by saying we should perform our duties according to our Varnashram. And Ramananda Roy quoted relevant verses from the scriptures to support this. Right? Devotees of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, whatever we say, we should support it with evidence from the scriptures. So Ramananda Rai was very well versed. He knew all the scriptures. And he quoted the verses describing that if you follow Vanashram, then you're perfect. Your, your, your life is a success. Of course, this is more like karma yoga. Just doing your duty in a detached manner. Krishna is telling Arjuna, if he does his duty in karma yoga, then he won't be touched by any sinful reactions. Just like the lotus flower is not touched by water. Hmm, put water on the lotus flower, it rolls off the leaf. Okay. So the water, the, the leaf of the lotus is special that it doesn't absorb water. So in the same way Arjuna would not be affected by sinful reactions. But Lord Chaitanya said, well, that's all right, but that's external. Go on, go some, give me some higher. So, so then Ramananda Rai quoted verse from Bhagavad Gita that whatever you do, whatever you eat, whatever you offer in the way should be done as an offering to me. Of course, it's karma yoga. Hmm, Lord Chaitanya said, go, go higher, go further. So then Ramananda Rai said, Surrender every, give up all religious principles and just surrender to Krishna. And he quoted the verse from the 18th chapter, 66, uh, But Lord Chaitanya said, yeah, go higher. Then Lord Chaitanya said, so then he quoted another verse from Bhagavad Gita which describes about being fixed on the impersonal Brahman. Brahma Bhutta Prasanatma Nasochati Nakanchati Samasarvishu Bhutishu Madhvaktim Labhati Param. 
that one who knows, uh, one who has come to the level of Brahman, then he does not hanker for anything, does not lament about anything. He's equal to all living entities, and in that state he can begin devotional service. 这个师姐就讲到一个达到凡的境界的人不再会渴求什么也不会在为任何事物悲伤他平等对待众生这时候他才开始从事奉爱服务 Lord Chaitanya said, yeah, but go further 主陈天说, 是的, 不过还有更高的呢? Lord Chaitanya was still not satisfied 主陈天还是不满足 So then Ramananda Rai quoted another verse from Srimad Bhagavatam 于是, and this verse said that one should remain in whatever position one is in and simply hear about Krishna in the association of devotees. 这个世界说, 一个人应该保持在他现在的状态中, 在与Krishna奉献者的联谊中去聆听有关Krishna的提示. And just by hearing about Krishna in this way, one can conquer Krishna. 只是通过这样方式去聆听Krishna,一个人就能征服Krishna。This is a verse which Lord Chaitanya wanted. He said, yes, he said, now discuss this verse. 这就是主持人天涯上听到的诗节。他说,是的,现在我们来谈这个诗节。because now you're talking about pure devotional service. Pure, pure devotional service means simply hearing about Krishna in the association of devotees. It's nothing to do with your varna or ashram. It doesn't matter what is your situation. What is important is that you are hearing in the association of pure devotees. Just like here, the Bridge Basi people, they had seen Krishna pick up the Govardhan Hill. They had seen this seven year old boy pick up the Govardhan Hill and hold it up for seven days. So they, want, they were thinking, who is this child Krishna? And there be beginning to remember all of his different activities. We heard, first of all, when he was just born, then only a few days old, Putana came. And Putana came disguised as a devotee. That was to her benefit. Because she disguised herself as a devotee, Krishna accepted her as a devotee. And took her back to God. Even though she is coming with the intention to try to poison Krishna. And so that, that was the first pastime, and then the second pastime was with the cart demon, Saktasura. It was in the form of a cart. Cart, you know, like a, a barrel or something. Yeah, so that that was the second but now the third pastime is with the Trinavarta demon, who's in the form of a whirlwind. And the Trinavarta demon came and just like 
Just like we have these typhoons come regularly here every summer in Hong Kong. You get some typhoon and it's got some name, you know. They're, you know, they're recognized to be like personalities. So they give them a name, Typhoon Mary, Typhoon Susan or something. <laughs> Typhoon Rada, Typhoon Moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, not yet. Anyway, uh, this, so this Chinavarta, he's in the he's some whirlwind coming and he came up through Vrindavan and he picked up Krishna. Of course, all of these different demons were associates of Kamsa. And Kamsa had sent them to try to kill Krishna. And these demons, you know, they have they have mystic powers, so they can take any form they like. Just like Putana, she came, she disguised herself as a beautiful woman. And it was only when Krishna was biting out her life air that she assumed her Rakshasa form. Uh, but so this Trinavarta demon also is a personality and he comes and he is um, the nature to want to kill Krishna. But he did not um, he did not expect that Krishna could uh, Give him, could fight with him, could challenge him. As it described here, Krishna grabbed his neck, and by just from Krishna's grabbing his neck, the demon was forced to fall to the ground, dead. And so the coward men in Vrindavan, they had seen all this, they had witnessed these things. And they're thinking, how amazing this child Krishna is. And they're just, by hearing about Krishna and remembering all the things he has done, then they become more attached to him. The, the, the men, these men, these cowherd men have been under the Govardhan hill for seven days, protected by Krishna. Their lives have been saved by Krishna. And he saved their life by picking up the Govardhan Hill. So they're thinking how wonderful Krishna is. But who is he? We want to understand who is this? What kind of child is this who can do these things? You know, we see devotees come with their little children. They come sometimes a little child, a few months old or a year old. You know, they cannot do anything, really. Yeah, they're cute, you know, we say, oh, you're very cute, very nice, you know, but they can't do anything. They can't look pregnant, they can crawl, they can cry. <laughs> but here is Krishna, who is doing all of these wonderful things, killing all these demons. 
但这里我们却看到 Krishna 做着各种各样奇妙的事情，杀了这么多恶魔。So of course Krishna describes in Bhagavad Gita his mission, why he comes, that he comes to kill demons and also he comes to give pleasure to his devotees. 我在法歌当中 ，Krishna 也说了，他的降临是为了呃铲除恶魔，当然也更是为了取悦他的奉献者。And by his killing these, he can kill the demons without coming. He doesn't need to come to kill the demons. He can just give them a heart attack, right? He's in the heart of all demons anyway. Give them a heart attack, get rid of them, you know. They're they're dead now. You're finished. No more problem from the demons. Uh, 只要让他们得一场病，呃，得个心脏病什么的，他们就很快就死掉了，不用呃，他再麻烦亲自来杀。But when Krishna personally comes and deals with them and kills them personally, then, of course, the demons are liberated. 而当 Krishna 亲自来亲手杀死他们的时候，这些恶魔呃都得到了解脱。This is Krishna's kindness on the demons. This is Krishna 对恶魔的仁慈。We say Krishna is kind to everyone. Because Krishna 对每一个人都是仁慈的。But if someone does some service for him, then that is even better. 如果有人为他做了服务，他就对他们更仁慈了。So these demons are also doing some service for Krishna. 而这些恶魔们也在为 Krishna 做着某些服务。They're taking part in Krishna's pastime. 他们也在参与 Krishna 的逍遥时光。Even though they're the demons, it's very pleasing for the devotees to see Krishna conquer these demons. 虽然虽然他们是恶魔，但是他们扮演这样的角色，让呃 Krishna 杀死恶魔，奉献者看到这些活动都会非常的喜悦。And because the, the, these coward men in Vrindavan have witnessed all of these pastimes of Krishna, they have become so much attached to Krishna. Not only are the coward men attached to Krishna, of course the coward ladies are also attached to Krishna. When the gopis, when Krishna left Vrindavan to go to Mathura, the gopis were heartbroken. Krishna 离开 Vrindavan 去杜巴尔卡的时候，狗皮们几乎都心心都碎了。And they didn't get over that. 而且从来都没有缓过来。Many for a very long time they were lamenting. When is Krishna coming back? 有很多牧牛女，很长时间也都处在悲伤、痛苦之中。呃，他们在想着 Krishna 什么时候回来呀 ？So then Krishna sent Lord Balaram there, and then he sent Buddha there. 于是 Krishna 就主 Krishna 就派 Balaram 回来，派 Uddhava 来。And when Uddhava came there, then he was, he was,、uh, impre- he was so. Impressed to see how attached the gopis were to Krishna. Uddhava 来到 Vrindavan 的时候，看到 Gopi 牧牛姑娘们对 Krishna 的依附的程度，他自己呃感动不已。But they were suffering so much in the pain of separation from Krishna. 但是他们深深的受着与 Krishna 的分离之苦的煎熬。But Uddhava taught them how to remember Krishna. How to feel the presence of Krishna by remembering his pastimes? 如何通过去呃回忆 Krishna 的逍遥时光，呃来呃感受到 Krishna 就在他们身边。And they all the gopis they would reenact all the different pastimes of Krishna. Uh, also gopis. Yeah, the gopis would reenact all these different. Incidents which Krishna had performed throughout his life. Then, 当然，嗯， Krishna 在他所从事的所有的逍遥时光，这些牧牛女们也都是目睹过的。嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯
reenact. They would perform Krishna's pastimes. They would reenact. So the these Mohini women would reenact Krishna's pastimes. Yeah, and one gopi would play the part of the demon. And, and another gopi would be Krishna. And they would reenact all the different incidents which had happened. And in this way they were able to feel the presence of Krishna. Just like there's a verse which comes at the very end of this 10th canto, Srimad Bhagavatam. Prayers by the personified Vedas, it's the 90th chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam. So, verse number 48, there's 50 verses in the chapter, it's nearly the end of the chapter. And Sukadeva Goswami is speaking a verse to pacify all of us. Because we may feel very disappointed that we're not being able to be present when Lord Krishna was present. So Sukadeva Goswami speaks a verse where he says, Jayati Janani Vaso Devaki Janani Vado. He's saying that uh, Lord Sri Krishna is he who is known as Janani Vas, the ultimate resort of all living entities. He's in the heart of all living entities. But Sukadeva Goswami speaks a verse, he uses the verse Jayati, the verb Jayati, he uses it in the present tense. Because he wants to tell us that Krishna is still present. We may be thinking Krishna, oh, he was five, that was five thousand years ago, he's gone now, he's not, we missed his pastimes. But Sukadeva Goswami said, no, he's still present now. He's present in his holy dam. He's present in his name. And he's present in the hearts of all the devotees who remember his pastimes. So we have, we have to remember that Krishna is present. It's not that Krishna is gone, he's here now. But we have to remember his pastimes. We have to remember his name. We have to know how to associate with him. So we're seeing from this past, this chapter here, wonderful Krishna, the cowherd men are describing all the different activities of Krishna. This is the business of devotees. Our real, real business is simply discussing topics of Krishna. Srinvatam Swatata Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana. Ridhyanta Stohiya Bhadrani Vidunoti Suritsitam. Lord Krishna is in the hearts of all living entities and he cleanses the desire for material enjoyment from the devotee who relishes his message. 
就 Krishna 处在众生的心中，他会清除掉你在欣赏和聆听他的消时光的呃奉献者的内心所有的不解。We have to try to develop our taste for hearing about Krishna. 我们需要的是培养对于聆听有关 Krishna 的话题的品味。It takes some practice. 这呃是需要练习的。We have to hear more and more. 我们得越来越多的增加聆听。Just like Shri Prabhupada said, when he first heard from his spiritual master, he could not understand what he was talking. 就像 Shri Prabhupada 也承认，他第一次听他的灵性导师在呃讲述的时候，他并不知道，并不理解他在说的是什么。But he did not go away. 但他并没有离开。He stayed and he kept hearing. And the same way, if we keep hearing, if we remain here, hearing Krishna, the message of Krishna, then naturally our love for Krishna will awaken. 同样的，如果我们也是呃，如呃不停止的、不断的去反复听、重复听，呃，我们对 Krishna 的爱就会苏醒。And Shri Madhavadam describes that one who remains in Krishna consciousness. Then he inherits the right to go back to Godhead. 圣天国教堂当中也有一个师姐说，一个一始终意念着奎什纳的人，始终处在奎什纳之学的人，他是就有权利回归受神。他提诺康巴姆苏沙麦克沙玛纳布恩扎纳伊巴特玛克里塔姆贝帕卡姆瑞格瓦布瓦布瓦布比尔贝贝达纳玛斯特。Jiveta yomukti bade sadaya bak. The word sadaya bak is very significant. Sadaya bak 这个词很重要 It means that you just like the son inherits the property of the father. 就像是儿子继承父亲的财产一样 The father grows old and dies, and all the father's property is inherited by the son. 父亲老了，去世了，他所有的财产都会由儿子来继承。So in the same way, the devotee simply has to remain alive in Krishna consciousness. 呃，奉献者只需要在 Krishna 知觉当中保持活跃。And it becomes your right to go back to Godhead. 那么回归守神就成为了你的合法权利。It's not a problem. We don't have to think. Oh, will I go back to Godhead? Do you think I can make it back to Godhead? You don't have to worry about going back to Godhead. It's automatic. It's guaranteed. We don't have to worry about going back to Godhead. It's automatic. It's guaranteed. We don't have to worry about going back to Godhead. It's automatic. It's guaranteed. We don't have to worry about going back to Godhead. It's automatic. It's guaranteed. We don't have to worry about going back to Godhead. It's automatic. It's guaranteed. We don't have to worry about going back to Godhead. It's automatic. It's guaranteed. We don't have to worry about going back to Godhead. It's automatic. It's guaranteed. We don't have to worry about going back to Godhead. It's automatic. It's guaranteed. We don't have to worry about going back to Godhead. It's automatic. It's guaranteed. We don't have to worry about going back to Godhead. It's automatic. It's guaranteed. We don't have to worry about going back to Godhead. It's automatic. It's guaranteed. We don't have to worry about going back to Godhead. It's automatic. It's guaranteed. We don't have to worry about going back to Godhead. It's automatic. It's guaranteed. We don't have to worry about going back to 如何如何保持在 Krishna 知觉中活跃呢？要通过定期规律的聆听和唱诵。We're hearing every day. We hear, and just like in our Krishna Conscious Center here in Hong Kong, every day the devotees are hearing. 天天去聆听，比如说在我们这里的 Iskon， 呃，香港庙宇，每天奉献者都会聆听。Sudamani and Ganga are in the kitchen or on the altar. And they're doing their deity work, but at the same time, they're hearing about Krishna. Sudamani Maharaji, 还有刚刚发布，他们虽然会在神坛上，嗯，忙在做崇拜或者是在做饭，但同时他们也在聆听。They remain alive in Krishna consciousness simply by this hearing. 只是通过聆听，他们就能在 Krishna 知觉当中保持活跃。Of course, when we, and when we hear. But we go on hearing. We will also want to chant. 当然，不断的聆听，不断的聆听，自然也会有愿望，更多的愿望去唱诵荣耀。Just, just like we take part in the kirtan, somebody's leading nice kirtan. 就像我们在 kirtan 当中，领唱者领得很好的时候。And then after the kirtan, we go away. We're we're still chanting. We're chanting ourselves. 
那 k i r t a n 我们唱诵完之后，呃，离开 k i r t a n 呃，以后我们自己还会再唱诵。In the same way we hear Shrimad Bhagavatam, we hope there will be something we can remember we will take with us from the Shrimad Bhagavatam. 同样的，我们也希望听过圣典佛教法坛之后，呃，脑中能够留留下一些东西来。Just like we go to holy place, go to the holy dam. We don't just go to see. 就是我们去拜访圣地，不光去去不光只是看的。All、right, we go to the holy place to hear. 我们去圣地是听的。Not for the eye exercise. Not only for the eye exercise, but for the ears. 那去圣地不只是呃眼部的运动，是其实是耳朵的运动。So this is Krishna consciousness. 这就是 Krishna 之觉。We we want to hear more and more about Krishna. 我们希望越来越多的聆听有关 Krishna 的意志。Lord Chaitanya was so pleased when Maharaj Prataparudra was reciting verses to him. Maharaj Prataparudra 在哎向呃马哈帕布呃背诵诗节的时候 ，Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 极其喜悦被取悦。Maha, Maha, Maharaj Prataparudra was reciting the Gopi Gita, the songs of the Gopis. The Gopis were singing about Krishna. Maharaj Prataparudra 在聆呃在唱诵背诵的诗节是 Gopi Gita 是 Gopi 梦游姑娘们对 Krishna 的赞美。Right, we have so many Gopis here today. 今天这里有很多 Gopi 梦游姑娘们。Right, can you sing the Gopi Gita? You have to learn. Uh, first, you have to learn. Tavakatam ratam taptajivanam kaviviritam kamasapaham shravana mangalam shrimadatatam bhubikrinanti yeburita janna. The Sigopis are singing like this to Krishna. 高皮木牛姑娘们就这样，呃，向奎士纳去，呃，对奎奎士纳唱歌。The、topics of Lord Krishna are very auspicious. 有关奎士纳的题旨都是非常吉祥的。And people who broadcast the glories of Krishna, they are the most fortunate. 传播奎士纳荣耀的人是极其幸运，是最为幸运的。So you all have to become fortunate. 你们也都应该变成最幸运的人。You're already fortunate. 已经很幸运了。But you have to become most fortunate. 要变成最幸运的人。By propagating the message of Krishna. 通过去传播有关 Krishna 的讯息，而成为最幸运的人。Okay. Any question? 大家有没有问题？ I talked about purifying the subtle body, the mind, the intelligence, and the ego. Yes. Maharaj is talking about, uh, 要净化我们的轻微躯体，也就是心念、智性或假我组构成的轻微躯体。那大家的问题是，净化智性是什么意思 ？This this process is, uh, based on the principle of Krishna consciousness. That if we hear about Krishna. Our intelligence, our mind, and、uh, desires will all become purified. Yes. 我觉得这个说法是基于 Krishna 之学的原则。只要我们去聆听有关 Krishna 的提示，我们的心念、智性和假我自动的会得到净化。First of all, we should understand who who we are, and then we can properly understand who is Krishna. 首先，我们得了解，得理解我们是谁，然后才能正确的理解 Krishna 是谁。Because if we think we're the body, then our mind and intelligence will be centered around the body. 那如果我们觉得我们就是是这个身体的话，我们的心念和我们的智性自然就是围绕我们的身体的。Our we have desires, are, but our desires are not very pure. 我们有愿望，但是我们的愿望并不纯净。Our desires are think we're thinking about how to make the body happy. 我们的愿愿望是在想如何让这个身体感受到快乐。How will I enjoy material world better? 我怎样更好的去享受物质世界 ？But if we purify our mind and senses, 
we will, un- we will think more about our spiritual need. So just as we have ego, pure ego is to understand I am the servant of Krishna. False ego is thinking I am the controller. I am this body. This is, this is mine, this belongs to me. This is all false ego. But true ego is to understand I am the servant of Krishna. And the same way intelligence has to be used to properly direct the mind. And the mind, the mind carries the desires. So in our mind we may think I'd like to be rich, I'd like to have a lot of money. There's a lot of money in the bank. I'll rob a bank. 比如说，我们的心念当中，呃，想我想变得富有，我想要很多钱，银行里有很多钱，所以我要去抢银行。But intelligence tells us, well, this is not a very good thing to do. You can't do this. 而智性说这个是不呃不好，不能不能这么做。And we have some intelligence, some degree of intelligence.我们还是有某种程度的智性的。But our intelligence has to become Higher has to become to come to the spiritual platform. We have to understand our identity not simply as a body but as a soul in the body. Just like you come into a house, you don't become the house. 进入一个房间之后，你并不是这个房间，并不不会成为这个房间。The uh, same way the soul comes into the body. 同样的，灵魂进入了身体这个房间。When the soul enters, then the body develops. 只有当灵魂进入身体之后，身体才会成长。And when the soul leaves the body, the body decays. 而灵魂离开这个躯体之后，躯体就会开始腐烂。So intelligence is to understand the need of the soul. 智性在于理去了解灵魂的需求。Just as the body needs certain things, you need food, you need sleep. 当然，我们的身体也是需要有它的需求的，需要睡眠，需要呃吃饭。So the soul also needs something. Needs spiritual food. That spiritual food is to hear about Krishna. To hear the knowledge of Krishna, just as Krishna spoke, Bhagavad Gita. And from Bhagavad Gita, we learn how to awaken our spiritual consciousness. Controlling the mind, controlling the senses, and 